What is up, everybody? It's Sam, and we are back with our final episode of Pessimistic at Best Season 2, which is crazy. And obviously, we had to do it with a a kickoff podcast, a a send-off, I guess I should say, for my friend Adam. Hey, buddy. She's kicking me out. That's what she said. (laughs) I'm kicking you right out. She said the kick out. And we just thought it was fitting because next to Slime... (laughs) <laughs> I have been on this podcast the most, the most, which is crazy. And I think it's only fitting mm-hmm. that for the last time mm-hmm. I have a guest, which <laughs> is Slime. Hello. Thanks for having me, Adam. It's crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy that we made it this way that I now get a guest on the podcast. It's a huge honor, to be honest. Is it more fun to be his guest than my guest? Kind of. I would say so, yeah. This is kind of funny because we have to pass the mic back and forth. It's a little hard. Little do they know. Yeah. But also, we're high. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like I'm doing it even slower than I normally would. But I don't even know if they're high because they stopped smoking. Well, we can't smoke like you, buddy. They say that they're lightweights. You're a chimney. Is that a cool reference? Yeah, I like that reference. Okay, thanks. I'll be, it's kind of like me and James will be like, we're newscasters. Yeah, I like this. You know, Mitchell and I always wanted to be newscasters, newsca- but like on the thing of like where we would always, when we lived at the hub, if there was something crazy going out outside on the balcony, like weather wise, we would just get so high because we were so high up, you know? Yeah. And like we would see like crazy storms. We'd stand out there and we, I have videos of him just being like, yeah, we've got some crazy. <laughs> and then back to you. And you know how you always, you and always pause. Back to you. You always pause. It's the, all right, and back to you, Sam. And then it's just a brief pause. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you so much, exactly. Adam. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yep. exactly, exactly. Yeah, I love that. That is always good. <laughs> what would your new show be called? You know what you guys need? Headsets. Imagine. Look legit. Yeah. For the podcast? Yeah, then we could look like sports news. You know, masters, okay. Like sitting on the bench. This would be so much here, and then we'll just do all a group share. Won't it pick? I feel like that won't work. Why What's not? the easiest way to do it. Should we make this a... Um, a trash talking? Let's see w- of which of the friends actually listen to this one. And so, <laughs> if you're listening to this, you have to send us a text. Both of us in a group chat. <laughs> if you're our friend and you're listening to this episode, we'll know that you didn't if you don't text us. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of friends, Samantha's also going to have no friends now. Yeah. It's also part of why we had to do a send-off episode for you, buddy, because I have been complaining about you moving on on this podcast. Yeah. You're ditching us, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it sucks. Just now kidding. it's true that she has no friends here. It really is. You can keep whining to everybody that you see. James I love me. the whining person. <laughs> I'm really good at it. I support it. I love it. I love to whine. It's like complaining. Yeah. I mean, it basically is. It's just like a... It's a worse form of complaining. You think so? Yeah. Basically. You think it's worse? It's a funny form Whining? of bullying. Yeah. yeah. But we also had to do a weed themed podcast. Oh yeah. Forget that's <laughs> I mean, you know. Cause do you know that it's funny that Wisconsin is in that weird circle thing? How every state around us has legalized weed. Oh yeah. Except us. Like Minnesota's le- did they they legalized it as of last year. Did Michigan? No. Michigan is Really? Yep. Obviously, Michigan is, Illinois is. Illinois. Not yeah. Iowa. There's no way. No. Montana. Yeah, the mountains. <laughs> Even did. Everyone there is high. Yeah. Well, and because Adam, you always said that you don't ever remember smoking with me. I still don't. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> because when I lived with you, it was not, I would say, the time of my life I smoked the most weed. I find that hard to believe since I have no memory of smoking with you. That must be why. And that year I got awful sleep because I would always fall asleep. We would just sit in Mitchell's bedroom playing bricks and balls. Mm. Fun game. If you haven't mm-hmm. downloaded it, if you, you need some games on your phone, bricks you can get this one. Yeah. Bricks um, and balls. Really fun if you like weed, too. So. <laughs> Real fun if you yeah. like weed. <laughs> yeah. And we would just sit in Mitchell's room and 
play bricks and balls for hours and then I would go to my room to finally go to sleep and I'd fall asleep in my jeans with all my lights mm-hmm. on. Terrible. Mm-hmm. Like that's not even real sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's really not. It's great <laughs> sleep sometimes. Like, Is it? When you do it nice. But if you have to get ready for bed and get yeah. nice and cozy and then... You really do it up. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. When I track my sleep on my watch, when I'd like... For instance, when I like take a dab or something, mm-hmm. that night, deep sleep, get great sleep. Nice. Well, but it's just because you don't move. That's why it's just because you don't move. Probably. Do you track on your phone? Huh? On the phone, or the Apple Watch, I mean? What'd you say? Track your sleep on your Apple Watch? Yes. Yes. So it's pretty accurate. It's like yeah. my heart rate. Mm-hmm. I've never used one of those sleep apps. You use one. Does it's it track, funny. though? Well, I used to use it more to actually track my sleep and pay attention to that because it has the option where you can set the alarm to be like within a half hour range whenever you're yes. about to hit your... Yeah. Yeah. And I used to really like that, but recently I've just been setting it at like an, a time. Oh, okay. I used to use that same app. Yeah, sleep cycle or something. Yep, sleep cycle. Mm-hmm. And yes, it used to do the, the weird... <sighs> I felt like it worked, but... It totally did. The yeah. slow wake up? It totally did. Yeah, it was nice. I also like the process of the alarms because they start quieter, and then the more times you snooze yes, or whatever, it gets louder. Yeah, yeah. Which I like. It's more gradual. No, it totally worked because it, it did it awake when your sleep cycle was done instead of interrupting you in the middle <clears> of the sleep cycle. Yeah. I wouldn't, Maybe I should go back to that. I know. I should, I, I'm thinking about it now that we're talking about it. Same. <laughs> Same. I'm going to try that. But you yeah. Just change, man. Do you, would you uh-huh. say you smoke weed most nights before you sleep? Hundred percent. Yeah. Some days I'll take breaks. Like I went like on a two and a half month break. Did you? Just yeah. cause? I needed to because my one my tolerance was so high. Your tolerance is always high. You blow yeah. my mind for real. <laughs> yeah. Would you say? Were you the one saying that you have a pretty consistent like time you fall asleep at? I used to. Yeah, used you were to pretty always, good about your bed schedule. I'd always be in bed around like eight eight thirty. Damn. Get up around five thirty six. Yeah. Wow. Every morning. Are you a morning person? Yeah, you are. Not anymore. You're not. <laughs> I hate the... And that's funny because... Do you? I didn't have a fucking job when I was doing my good sleep cycle. Yeah. Now I'm the opposite. I hate waking up. Yeah. I hate waking up. <laughs> we slept in today. Yeah. It was kind of nice. Oh, I've fun. been sleeping in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you really were. I it's slept until dabs. what? Yeah, it was those fucking dabs. <laughs> What's your new bedtime? Ranges. Could be like... For example, well, this is a weird week because it was the holiday. Yeah, that's fair. Um, for example, Friday, I think I fell asleep at 6 p.m. Yeah. Saturday. Oh, no, no, no. Friday was here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thursday, I fell asleep. No, Thursday, I fell asleep at like 8. I was tired. Yeah, Thursday, I fell asleep at like 8.39. Food. And then woke up at 1 p.m. the next morning or okay. afternoon. Yeah. And then, oh, it was Friday into Saturday. I slept until, like, noon and didn't do anything and slept all day. Do you, um, if you take a break from one type of weed, do you have a different kind? Yeah, so, like, if I take a break from dabs and I go back to flower, yes. then I get a, I get more high. Mm-hmm. And then it's just, like, the tolerance that I'm at. Yeah, it's like a different tolerance for each. Yeah. What are your guys' favorite ways to uh, <laughs> smoke weed? Like it all. <laughs> yeah. Like it all. You do? Love it all. Yeah, or or eat it, I mean. ingest it, whatever. I love edibles. Yeah, edibles are hit or miss for me, but I like them more often than I not, them. I guess. Yeah, the last time I did edibles, I got high as fuck, and it was when I was <laughs> in Austin, Texas with Molly, and we were about to pick Lauren up, and her and I had gone out on the pedal boards, taking our little edibles, we were drinking these things called ranch waters, which are like tequila, oh, yeah. I don't even know what's in them, tequila soda drink, it's pretty good, hmm. and then all of a sudden her and I were out on the pedal boards, like not speaking, and I could tell that I was so high, <laughs> and we're like in the middle we're in the middle of the river. We had gone down so far, and we were going with, like, the waves or whatever, the current. Mm-hmm. So we had just kind of kept floating on down. <laughs> and then we got a text that Lauren had landed. We were literally supposed to be at the airport <laughs> picking her up. And me and Molly were like, oh, fuck. We paddled the whole way back, didn't say a single word to each other. <laughs> and then we went all the way back to Molly's house to try and figure out what to do. Lauren was at the airport. 
And she was like, yeah, I was going to maybe take a cab, but it says they're going to be like 50 minutes. Me and Molly panicked. I was really so high. And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> I think we just need to take showers. <laughs> so we took full showers before we still went to the airport to get her. And that's that time. That's how I saw when that lady had the snake on her arm. Oh, and I thought you made I was, her wait so long, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, literally so long. <laughs> and then on the way to the airport, there was this woman driving with a python on her arm. Oh, my God. I thought it was just because I was high, but I think she did ass had a python. Yeah, shit. Yeah. I don't know where she was going with it, but... Snakes as pets has always intrigued me. Like, why do you want a snake anywhere I want a snake. All the time? That'd be so fun. You do? That'd be cool. I think that'd be awful. They're cool, but they're just crazy. They're really, they're really freaky. What's the highest you've been on an edible, James? Um, maybe getting on a plane to Tahoe. Or maybe... Prom. <laughs> True. I fucked that oh. night up. You scared me, yeah. Yeah. Oh. He tired. thought I was a monster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, probably that Love night. That for, <laughs> Love that for me. Mine was either one time in lacrosse my freshman year or with Mitchell. Mm-hmm. We were flying to you Arizona. You get so high for planes. Hell yeah. That scares me. I think I would oh, have a Oh, no. Freak out. I forgot. The one time... Okay, yeah. so... <laughs> okay, so it was either... I'll finish the story with Mitchell. With Mitchell and I, I had made these brownies, and um, I'd put an ounce of weed in them. Oh, yeah. Fire. <laughs> and we were flying to Arizona, and him and I take them right before we get into the airport. <clears throat> and for some reason, we're like two hours early, and like get through TSA high as fuck. So we walk... The whole O'Hare airport at like 5 a.m. Oh, because we took the bus down. Classic, <laughs> that was it. Classic. And then we had to, so we got there really early. And so it was one of those like, yeah, where you, we had to take it early. Otherwise we'd be too late if we took the other one. Yeah. And so we walked O'Hare literally twice. And we were the so high. Airport? The whole airport. <laughs> and we were so high. We finally found the lights, you know, at United's terminal, like yeah. the cool one on the ceilings. Oh. And like where it's like the walking yeah. airway. So like we walked and just stared we did four <laughs> rounds of that so high and then um we go to i was i wanted jamba juice and mitchell needed to like go to the bathroom or something and i, w- I don't even remember ordering but the card machine was down and she needed to type the numbers in but she was typing my number in wrong but i was so high i couldn't <coughs> i couldn't tell her that and so <laughs> She kept getting, like, kept getting in decline, and I'm just sitting there. Now there's, like, a whole line. So I just had to get out of line and not get my Jamba Juice. Dude. And I'm just wandering, trying to find Mitchell. And, like, we found each other, and we were just stoned. And we're like, okay, we just got to go to our gate. <laughs> and so, like, we get to our gate, and, like, we're randomly seated. And, of course, we're... B- okay, so, like, you know, we're in the technically the same row. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, mm-hmm. across. So, like, but yeah. we were both in the middle seat. Okay, yeah. And so I was that high where I kept, like, falling over and, like, jerking up yeah. and doing that and kept doing that. And then I swear I would have put my nephew's life on it that we had been moving. Like the plane. The plane was moving. You were holding that still. I was so, I was so set on it. And I was like, no, we're not moving. We are. No, we have to be moving. <laughs> and I'm about to pick up my phone and text Mitchell. <clears throat> I'm like, no, I can't. He's going to think I'm so high. <laughs> I did it. I literally look at my phone. Mitchell texts me, bro, is the plane fucking moving right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, my other time was coming back from Coachella. Reggie True. and Zoe had left early and left all of their edibles and weed shit for just Winnie and I. And Winnie had to work in the airport, so she couldn't do anything. So I had smoked like... Five joints. Oh I God. had drank the rest of Zoe's gross ass cherry limeade edible drink <laughs> on top of maybe like twelve of her gummies. Twelve? Probably. Oh my because, God. And then I think I ate six and took six on the plane with me. And then oh my God. Um, I would have just thrown all that up. I don't know it how up? I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I literally don't know how I didn't because I also was on no sleep. I get to the airport and I kid you not, I thought it was so weird and i tried explaining <laughs> this to you before but i had thought that we were in a movie <laughs> but it was actually going to happen and the movie was a plane crash movie and that oh i was like, going to die 
and that I literally was okay, I had to be okay with it and so Jesus. it was this whole thing and I'm just sitting in the airport just literally preparing myself to die I'm sitting there with Winnie <laughs> oh and I'm totally okay with it and I don't know why I am <laughs> and like I'm listening the music is perfect in my headphones and there was a whole scenario too because our plane was overbooked Classic. and they were offering so much money to stay the night and rebook for the next day and no one was doing it i think they were doing up to two thousand dollars credit oh my god and i couldn't because i had a fucking physics exam the next day (laughs) my ass would have done that hell yeah (laughs) and then um this like you know like the california girl oh my god she was like on her phone like with her friends talking about you wouldn't get my weekend like i went to coachella you know, like that type of girl. Valley girl. She ends... That's what it's called, yep, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Um, she ends up giving up her seat. And um, then she's on her phone with, like, her friends. Oh, my God, yeah. They were offering and they were begging. And I did it. Like, she was, like, the hero. And in my head, she was going to be the one, like, when this plane went down, she was going to get interviewed. Like, oh, I was supposed to be on that plane. Like, that perfect. And I'm sitting there, like, oh my this God, is that's crazy. So funny. And, like, the whole time, like, I said goodbye to Winnie and I gave her, like, the longest hug because I was like oh she's my like God. the last person like that I love that I'm gonna see oh I'm like God, I'm like Adam. walking on like the airway and I always I always pick my seat and I always now will get Do a you window really? seat yes oh yeah because and I've realized why now after this trip for some fucking reason I thought let me get an aisle seat so I can stick my legs out and stretch longer and I'll be more comfortable after Coachella oh sure hell fucking no I get on that plane <laughs> and every single person has their window down and so it already seems like a, oh shit it's already happening you know <laughs> oh my god it's, it's dark it's gloomy it's whatnot. and I'm, I sit in my seat and it's everything is going to plan the girl next to me is deathly afraid of flying and She's in the middle, and her best friend is sitting in front of her in the middle seat, and she has her, like, hands, like, down. Her friend's hands are, like, back, like, gripping her. Like, her friends are like, oh, my God. What like, the oh, hell? Like, oh, my God, I'm so scared to fly. I'm like, oh, I feel you now. Yeah, you know? right. Like, it's going down, and <laughs> the plane takes off. No one is, has their windows open, so I can't really tell. Like, you know, like, when you're looking out, you can, like, tell the direction you're going? Yeah. yeah. This will first, your nose diving we into take the ground. off. <laughs> we take off. Right after takeoff, we drop and we drop. We do like a drop, like where like I drop and the girl next to me screams. Everyone's screaming and like I'm like, this is it, this is it. Obviously, it was just like a, like we just like did a little turbulence yeah. or something. We kept going on our way, but the whole plane ride, it felt like we were nose diving, oh, and oh I couldn't God. tell that if we were, we weren't because no one had their fucking windows open. And, oh my um, God, I literally think I would have had a heart attack. I get off. At, in Minneapolis and I'm like holy shit what just fucking happened oh my God. <laughs> because I kept like flailing and doing other things that I would be passing out you know like because I was so high <laughs> I told Winnie check because she was also flying in Minneapolis but later I said just check for me like on benches See if I like <laughs> make it on my next flight, cause oh my God. we'll see. Oh my God! So yeah, that was probably the highest I've ever been off edibles. No, yeah, I don't take those before airports are stressful enough. I can't be doing that. I'm just glad you survived, dude. I yeah, me too. I literally thought I was. Imagine done. we can't be here recording this podcast today. Yeah, cause did you guys know that this is the last one forever? <laughs> Last podcast ever. She didn't want to say it, but this, I'll say it. This podcast is tea. over now that Adam's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't stand a chance. No I way. can't believe you don't take edibles before the airport. That's how I survive in airports. No, it's just I love scary. It. I love traveling, but do you like traveling with people or by yourself? I like both. I love traveling by myself. I'd James? rather be with people, but... I'm down for it, yeah. It's kind of get some nice, quiet time. I just love putting in my headphones, being high as hell. Walking to the airport, getting some good food where I'm going, See, and just chilling. Yeah, I yeah, like getting there. Yeah. I like getting a whole bunch of coffee. That's what I like doing. Really? Yeah. I don't. I don't like it. I love being high because then I love just passing out on the flight and then just waking up and you're there. Yeah. I like listening to podcasts on the flight. I don't like sleeping on planes. I like, I like listening can't to music. really. I'm not comfortable enough. Oh, I knock the fuck out. Yeah, I just listen to music. That probably and fall helps you be more yeah. comfortable. Weed. Weed, hell yeah, yeah. Some speed. And now they offer the extra leg room on flights, and you should upgrade and buy it because it's fucking worth it. Yeah. Huh. It's I feel that. worth it. <laughs> I'm Jesus trying to think Christ. of, um, I think one of the most fun times I ever had on edibles was just when we were last in Denver and at Claire's house, and or I guess it was like two times ago, and... <laughs> 
we took edibles. It was the day that we got there, too. So it was after our really long drive, but you know they got good edibles there. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then we had just had already finished our dinner. We were chilling, sipping some margaritas, and then we took these edibles. It was me, Zoe, Ruth. <laughs> And then Claire and Dylan and Josie had come over too. And we started playing um, Quiplash or no. The Jackbox game? No, what's the one you pass around? Oh, uh, Catchphrase. Catchphrase, Catchphrase. <laughs> we started playing Catchphrase and it was so much fun. And we just kept getting slower and slower and more and more stupid. Like we had been going pretty fast at the beginning before any of us were high. And then I don't know however long it takes, 45 minutes later. Like, we had been trying to get ahead of, like, 13. We were passing it around, going so fast, being so good at it. And then <laughs> just started getting so fucking dumb. We couldn't get above, like, 8. And everyone was just holding on to it, like, cracking the fuck up. It was literally so funny. I don't oh, know how weed is not legal everywhere. And so. then and then a little bit after that, Dylan... <laughs> because Dylan was playing video games with all the other boys, you know? <laughs> and so he, like, started cracking up after a little while. Because he was, like, whatever, on a little headset with all of them. And he would just turn around and we'd all be, like, silent, like, laughing. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. It was so funny. Yeah, that was one of the most fun times. But otherwise, they are hit or miss for me. I don't know if that's really? my favorite way to... I feel like it's you can't control it at all. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I feel like the milligram thing just doesn't seem to pan out the same way every time. No, they love it. lie. It's like a surprise. Do you like baking them, too? You said you made brown yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Love them. Love them all. Love I never really all. have made any, but it looks like a fun baking project. Last Christmas Eve, Lucy, her mom, and I made this French onion dip oh, a- nice. edible appetizer. Fuck yeah. I probably, that was probably like the third most high I've ever made. See, that's bad <laughs> if the snack actually tastes good, though. So fucking then good. Then you just be snacking Exactly, it. but that's the fun of it. You don't know how high you're going to get is that fun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I honestly don't smoke that much weed anymore. And I probably haven't without, like, all, like being drunk in a while, too. Like, if oh. I come home from a night out or something, sometimes then that's fun. Yeah. But. I hear you. Also, that just helps you go to sleep and not be hungover, which is mm. always nice. Well, it doesn't really <laughs> help me not be hungover. Really? If I smoke but night off. I feel like it helps me. Maybe also just because I get the munchies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like what are you, you just like ripping the bong? Ripping yeah. the bong. Ripping the bong. <laughs> yeah. Keep it simple. I don't like that. That like just oh, too I much at all. once. Really? I feel, you. I feel like it's just like less work than all the rolling and all that stuff. Yeah, I used to be a blunt. Yeah, when I lived with you, that's all we smoked mm-hmm. was blunts. And then the, uh, James told me that whole year I smelled like blunts, and he never told me. <laughs> I get that. I'm just rolling up to knew. class. I did not know. Yeah, no, you don't know when you live in it. You really don't. Uh-uh. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and I am not cool enough to smell like blunts. You're, Straight up. You are. Mm-mm. You're a guy's girl. Such a guy's girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Sam. She's such a guy's girl. Guy's girl. Oh, no. It smells like blunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do wish I knew how to roll both blunts and joints. It Should I teach like you how to roll before I leave? A good skill, yeah. Because I taught Penny. Did you? Remember? That's <laughs> right. Yeah. I that video Penny recently out. showed up on the... On my birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way... Mm-hmm. We should talk about my birthday. We should. And talk about how Samantha and James had COVID. Yeah. And I oh, love how yeah. the whole your whole time you called it coronavirus <laughs> and not COVID. <laughs> got the vid. And the vid. Yeah. Missed my birthday. birthday. Missed my birthday. I did. We're sorry, man. Well, well, how about this, though? I bought Adam a birthday present months ago before he decided he was leaving my ass. And I got a... St- Tickets to a concert that's not happening until, like, April. It's Leon Bridges. It's going to be fire. But now I don't know. You're probably not going to want to come all the way back just for Leon Bridges. Well, if we really want to talk about it, I only decided to move away once you for, once you got COVID and missed my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last straw. So, Damn. I get that. You're about to have recreational where you're moving, though. No. Uh, in in six months. Oh, in San yeah. Diego. Yeah. Definitely not in Texas. Hell no, no, not in Texas. <laughs> There's no way. No. I think it's like... No. In Oklahoma, it's medically... Is it? Yeah. Because I was so confused driving down with Lauren. I was like, why are they all saying, oh, yeah, get the green so I'm like, I thought we were down south. Yeah, I know. I would think it would not be... Let me look okay up... Okay there. Maybe that's, that's wrong. That's 
Don't, don't touch my thing. You wish you touched your own things that are cracked. It is cracked. <laughs> it is cracked. Um, I need to look up all states legal. Didn't you have that stuff that is legal here? Weird. You liked it. The Delta CBD. 8. Oh yeah, no, the Delta Eight stuff is pretty. I'm a huge decent, Delta honestly. Eight fan. You don't like it? it? Doesn't really do shit for me. It was giving me a headache. I don't know if that was just the vape or the mm. thing itself, but I haven't been doing it lately. But I, I was digging it for a little bit. All right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wisconsin, Texas, Iowa. I think that's Nebraska. Indiana, Kentucky. And I think that's Alabama. Wait, Arizona and New Mexico are fully legalized, so I could always just drive over there. I guess it's kind of a far drive. <clears throat> yeah. Because I'm over there. You sure are. Oklahoma's medical, so I could get, like, a medical card. Texas is big as hell. Texas is big as hell. Are you going to turn into a cowboy? I'm going to get a cowboy hat. Okay. An authentic one. Yeah, those are expensive. But then people... I know. the crazy, right? Yeah. I used to have one when I was a kid. Do you have boots? See, um, whom was I talking to? Whomst. Um, whomst. I think I was talking to Arbors, and he was like, I'd rather get cowboy boots than have a cowboy hat. And I was like, I'd rather get a cowboy hat than cowboy boots, just because I'm prone to spilling on things. Like, if I'm going to wear it out when I'm drinking or whatnot, I'm not going to spill things on my cowboy hat because it's on my head. <laughs> you know? So. That's the main concern. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also like, I would look better in a cowboy hat than cowboy boots. That's what you think? I think you I could need. rock both. Dude. I, I definitely could because I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably, I just would think a cowboy hat is... I want cowboy boots really bad. But I went into one of the authentic hat shops when I was down in Austin where they like they like they literally like seal it to your head. Yeah. Like they like steam it. Yeah. That's it's, sick. It's fucking sick. And it's shaped perfect for you. Yeah. But it's like three hundred fucking dollars. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. But boots are even more. Yeah. If you want good boots, wow. cowboy. I went into an authentic cowboy boot store too, and it was fucking fire. It was all so cool. I had a bunch of horses that. too. Yeah. Are you? Are you gonna get one? Adam's gonna come back to Madison with a pony. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd get a horse, not a pony. Isn't a pony just a baby horse? No. No. It's not. <laughs> It's not? No. What is a pony? Just a smaller version of a horse. It's a different breed. A donkey? <laughs> no. It's different. An ass. <laughs> An ass. <laughs> wow, I really thought ponies were just baby horse. Mm -mm. No. Foals. That's a baby horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but also a baby pony. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a good horse back rider? Hell yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Just because you fell off one time. Yeah, and probably because my friend Sophia, you guys know her. I don't know her. She lied about having a horse. <laughs> of course she did. For Didn't it have a name and everything? Snickers. Snickers. That motherfucker Snickers. Wow. I had to ask my mom when we were in high school if Sophia's family actually ever owned a horse. She, she said no. no. <laughs> Why don't you ask her sooner? <laughs> I like really just in my head, Sophia had a horse, and then I started thinking about it because this one time we were on the road, she put out this like broken down shack on the side of the highway, and she was like, That's where my horse lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, who is this friend? Yeah, Sophia DeBoard. You, you guys might you guys might know her, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you never Not should. my friend. <laughs> Snickers though, a real pal. I had a horse. What was your horse's name? I had a pony. You had a pony? Yeah. So now you want to upgrade to the big leagues. Yeah. <laughs> when did you big have leaks. a pony? Are you serious? When I was 10. Yeah, Adam for sure had a pony. Are you kidding? Yeah. Huh. What happened to your pony? <laughs> well, it lived in my aunt's house because she had horses. And then she was moving up north, and then there was no point of me keeping her because... You got too cool for your pony, Adam. Yeah. Damn. Could you do, like, cool tricks and stuff? No, she was mean. She kicked my sister in the thigh. <laughs> oh, my God. My horse tried to buck me off, and you and you want to know why? Because Sophie's horse spooked it, not Snickers. Because <laughs> he's not real. Yeah. But when we were at camp, we... <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not Snickers. We went, not we went horseback riding. That was, like, one of the activities you could do. I don't, I don't know why we did that. Neither of us belong on a horse. And her horse spooked my horse because it thought it saw something in the grass. And my horse tried to buck me off. 
<laughs> I held so on you real didn't tight. Okay, you didn't actually fall off? I know. Hell yeah, but you should not be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, horses are like big dogs, honestly. I'm going to start sending you horse videos. Okay. <laughs> Do I you watch horse, horse videos? videos? Oh, absolutely. fucking Lily. Like showing? Like, uh, nah, no. those are lame. Yeah. Just more of like the... You know, there's a place um, that you can camp where there's wild horses that run on the beach. Let's do it. I think it's like up near Maine. Jaden likes horseback riding. Yeah, that is also <laughs> so funny. When I saw those pictures of her, Jaden, if you're listening, when I saw those pictures of you <laughs> on the back of that horse in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that shit was so funny. She was also mad because they just wouldn't let her, you know, like someone had to be leading the horse. She could, oh, you like, can't just she, yeah, it would just gallop piss, away. It would piss me off too, but yeah. that also pissed her off, which is shocking. Yeah, you would think she would want that. Yeah, no, <laughs> she wanted to be free with the horse. Did she ride side saddle? I don't think so. <laughs> wow, advanced. Yeah, I don't think she's ladylike. Like that. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. <laughs> that's a good point. But she, I think her and I will be going horseback riding now that I'm in Tejas. Tejas. Dias. So wait, which city are you moving to? Dias. And she's in Austin? No, no she's, she's in, in Dallas. Dallas. Oh, she well, is. actually, okay. she's well, moving to Oklahoma. Yeah, she's going to be in Oklahoma. For real? Yeah. Oh, she's doing the travel news thing. Yeah, I'm making... The big mind. bucks. Oh. Nice, nice. So we all expect black. an allowance. Honestly. Same with you, Claire. <laughs> yeah, so are you excited to move, Adam? I am. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm excited to be away from the winter. Oh, man. Okay. Who are you going to miss more, me or James? Well, James is a liability. We just, oh, we, we, did just we did find that out this week. <laughs> that's something new we did find out. That's true. James is a liability. It sucks to be Probably a liability. New. Newly coined. Yeah. Yeah, newly coined and newly, <laughs> newly acknowledged. Mm-hmm. Right. But, Verbally you know, acknowledged. Ad- admitting it is the first step. So what did we also think. figure out today? Schmoosh. Schmidt. Schmidt. <laughs> Schmoosh. Schmidt and slime. Schmidt. Not Schmidt and slime. That was funny. But what's that one like Schmitt. verbally? That's the verbally oh, diseased. Smooth. Oh, smudge. No. Um, Sugma. 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 <laughs> verbally transmitted disease. That's what we learned. That there's also verbally transmitted diseases. Yeah. So if you guys sugma. get a case of the sugma. Or the ligma. Ligma, ligma balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they said that uh. one's fatal, and no one's lived past ligma. Mm. There's right. Yeah. 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 And then the. There is something past ligma, but no one's ever, no one's ever lived to see yeah. it. The more you know. Yeah, so don't get verbally transmitted. Yeah, disease. By diseases. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Lagma, sigma. I thought that's like a frat. I thought that's what that, when you sigma first said. Sigma Kai. Sigma Kai. <laughs> Honestly, frats are verbally transmitted disease. So. Uh, <laughs> Should I start hanging out? Maybe I'll join a frat now that Adam's moving away. What the fuck? I fully support that. Yeah, that could be fun for me. Yeah, it's just a Cutting 25 year old. A new group rush. of friends. Cutting yeah, cut my short. hair a little shorter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they won't have a clue. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah, that could rush be. Rush week for you would be fun. <laughs> that would. Oh my God, I'd get it. Imagine, Imagine me getting hazed. Imagine. <laughs> I, could, I would pay money to see you being hazed. <laughs> I would pay money. Money to see you being hazed. I'm going to haze you next time you come home, Adam. Okay. Okay. Do you think, do you, think you would blow your cover if you were being hazed? I'm not being a boy. Yeah. I think you would come out. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good movie. Just um, just anytime, anytime they like anything, just you want to take a shot, you know, and then they'll That's have true. to say yeah. 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 <laughs> uh-huh. That's true. Yeah. You could like just join like one of those chemistry frats. <laughs> With just me and the nerds. Yeah. yeah. Too bad I suck at chemistry. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you're better at drinking. Yeah. I gotta draw the cool brats. Yeah, yeah. Which one would you want to do? <laughs> Not Fiji. I don't know the frats, really. The only one I know is Theta Chi. Theta Chi, Theta Delta Chi. Isn't that the same? No. Oh. Chi Phi. <laughs> I'm in Sugma. Sugma. You can start your own. <laughs> okay. Thai Delta Tampon. That's that could always be yours. good. That's the new thing is passing around tampons. 
Yeah, girl, I've been seeing on TikTok, girls at the clubs pass it, like, they, like, pretend to smoke out of a tampon and then hand it to random boys at the club, and boys will try and hit it, because they don't realize what it is. Oh, uh, yeah. And then they I've get pissed. I've seen videos. That shit's funny. <laughs> I don't have TikTok. Still? I thought yeah. you were on it. No. No, really? he likes Vine. That's I miss fair. Vine. Adam watches Vine compilations on YouTube. <laughs> I like TikTok now. Now I've curated mine to be funny. So it's pretty good. Yeah, my TikTok algorithm is decent right now. Yeah. Plus, I started putting my little podcast thingies on there. So obviously, I'm going to get famous. Famous. Ooh, <laughs> going viral. You better. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, <laughs> you better. At, Samantha, at SpankyG95. Uh, not really, but. What is the at? I just Sam Georgeson. We kept it simple. There you go. <laughs> I think Spanky G is going to get get more. Get more. Yeah. <laughs> Spanky G underscore twenty three. It's me. Michael Jordan. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. That really? is why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you guys can correctly guess Huge why Jordan it's twenty three, what? Samantha will give you a shout out. Okay. Oh, your, her twenty three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. it's Smith. Is it's because it it's because I'm twenty three. Twenty three. Is it because she's got twenty three moles on her body? I think that's it. She's got 23 tattoos. Wow. 23 piercings. Wow. You don't know. 23 hairs on her heads at the moment. (laughs) (laughs) It's really thinned out. Just, I only had 23 hairs on my head. Yeah. Were we just talking about you joining a frat? Yeah. Okay. Cool. (laughs) Should I do it still? It's like that one time where um, the video of why what's going on. (laughs) Yeah. What video? There's, there's <laughs> ladies. We have to show that to James. If you actually, we'll put it in the show notes. If you guys, yeah, you guys are in the um, videos of police pulling over drunk people. Drunk ladies. <laughs> this drunk lady. It's so good. It's literally only about like five seconds of joy, but it's so good. And it never gets old. And it's a, it's yeah, it's aged well. It's a great video. But don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Yeah. Do you ever guys feel like you've gotten so high that you feel like you're off psychedelics? Um, yeah. yeah. I've gotten, like, weird, bad trips. Yeah. Yep, same. Definitely, mm-hmm. This one time that I took a huge bong rip in Jacob's basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you guys ever done a face mask? No, those look intense. Yeah, those are crazy. Oh, I thought you meant, like, for skincare purposes? <laughs> yes, I sure have. Yes, you have. <laughs> I would love to see you... Do a bong rip from a face mask. I literally <laughs> think that would be the end of my life. Yeah. No. No. That'd be the last day you ever saw me. I've seen a couple ads for like the gravity bongs, but like gravity the fancy bongs. ones, not just the shitty water bottles that you cut apart and stuff. Or like, like the intense. vacuum bongs that right. are like the huge like bags that you just yeah. I don't oh, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah, the vapes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that just seems like you're doing too much. There's a lot of. The tornado think... thing, that's what it's called, right? Volcano. Volcano. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they get a little science-y. <laughs> it's, it's doing a little too much. <laughs> but if you know, the police ever come over, no, sir, this is science. <laughs> <laughs> do some science experiments. No, please, sir, can I have some more? Please, sir, so you want to see? <laughs> then I'll calm the fuck down, right? But it's so crazy to think that it's still not legal. It is. Because how much money states are bringing. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, at this point, we're all doing it anyways. Yeah. What I thought was really crazy was when Paul and Eileen first moved to New York. Yeah. And they said that they had, like, there's, like, weed delivery services there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's really interesting In, to um, me. In California, I'd get weed delivered, and they'd throw in, like, a free joint. Yeah, that's so something. funny to me. That's so fun. And, like, they would, he would just pull up with a suitcase. Yeah, that's so funny. Like, what do you want? <laughs> Mine would. You'd order through the, the app or you'd call. Yeah. And they'd, they'd accept Venmo. No way. Yeah, so convenient. Wow, that's that amazing. really is nice. Yeah. The future, folks. That is the future. <laughs> Coming soon to a northern state near you. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice to think about. I wish. Mm-hmm. Kind of dangerous, though. I feel that. Mm-hmm. We delivery? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> convenient but dangerous yeah sure what's dangerous about it spend a lot of money oh in that way delivery yes, fees that. tips yeah, I don't know just go there because up. the tax is so high except on some days there's a dispensary in San Diego that does no tax Tuesday NTT oh we oh. like that mm-hmm. how do they get away with that they just everywhere does deals oh like they just oh, oh yeah. got it 
Yeah. <laughs> they just aren't, yeah. Oh, yeah, they just decided that. It's some guy with a suitcase on the side of the dispensary <laughs> that he just says, do you want a good deal on it? <laughs> yeah, it's No Text Tuesday. <laughs> NTT. But then, like, Lucy and Anthony got, for Black Friday, they got, like, this box. It had to be worth at least $300 worth of... <coughs> Excuse me. Extra stuff um, for buying $100 worth of weed. But they got like 20 pre-rolls. They got like five bags of edibles. They got a gram of wax. They got a gram of flour. Damn. They got like um, a new battery. They got two new cartridges in this bo- box. Wow. Yeah. Jealous. That's a nice uh, investment. Yeah. Yeah. A good way to spend your Black Friday money. Oh, yeah. 100 bucks there. Remember that time we... Uh... We joined the Rastafarian church. I still have my thing. Me. What? <laughs> me. I think that guy got arrested. No, 100%. That was a whole, that was oh, a terrible thing. Oh, the thing, thing in town? Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, no, I heard that was bad. Dude. Yeah, we joined why. like, I think we cult. Joined. I think we joined a cult. So yeah, I, I mean, it was I, a fake cult. Or was it? Yeah. Well, Are you sure? He gave us some good edibles. I, yeah. As long as he didn't like prick your finger and take your blood, <laughs> stamp it on a piece of paper, I think I you're think good. I think I actually threw it away because I got nervous that it was... No, After he got arrested, you got to get rid of the evidence. <laughs> nope, there it is. There it is! Yeah. Oh my God, congratulations. Yeah, man. the Rastafari church. Flip it on the back. That shit like is so nuts, something? dude. Cannabis, sacrament for donating members. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Well, they got a Facebook page and everything. Probably not anymore. Nope. That's true. And somebody got attacked in there, too, like, by the owner. Good thing we went in together. <laughs> yeah. That's why That's why you got to use the buddy system, folks. Yeah, <laughs> buddy system. No, Good but, thing you never wrote your name on here. No one can tie it back to you, Adam. No, they can't. Yeah, you got to shred it. <laughs> but we were talking that if... Oh, wow, this is really interesting. You sign your name and it says, <clears throat> I do exercise. You. This is the pledge or whatever. I do exercise my liberty, religion, and conscience sincerely and legitimately without a guilty mind with cane bosum, or however you say it, cannabis, in parentheses, as my sacrament. What the fuck? Oh, hell yeah. That's what we joined a cult. And then you sign. Congrats. So you print your name at the top, and then obviously you start at the bottom. I always was, was like, was always... Took bets with like people like no nah, I would I wouldn't be a person I wouldn't be a victim of the cult you are I wouldn't I am <laughs> you didn't sign your name. I didn't sign so I didn't technically because no, I always bet money that I would be the cult leader <laughs> then, then that's yes to happen weren't. and I wasn't but does, doesn't wow. that's the role that you guys would see me in like not as yeah. a cult follower but as the cult leader right good thing you didn't sign <laughs> your name definitely yeah <laughs> otherwise you would have just been another follower you yeah wow thank God I didn't sign it. Yeah. That's yours, Samantha. It's not mine. too late. You can still do it. Nah. Wow, I forgot about this. Yeah, but those were good edibles from him. Yeah. And they were like, <laughs> yeah. we were, And we got them right before we went to the KK. Yeah. Oh, I was oh, hammered. Wow. It wasn't it a game day? It was a game day. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I, we I didn't actually really, spent, a little, I think I spent $60 had, with that man. No, Damn. you did. Yeah. We didn't have like a good game day this year. Yeah, we really didn't. We went to, we had a few small ones, but I mean, nothing crazy. Yeah. You cracked your phone. I did crack my phone. Twice. Twice. <laughs> right? Yeah. I laid on the ground once. Well, for planking purposes. Yeah, right? Everyone made such a big deal. It was fine. Like, my face was on the fucking ground for 10 seconds. <laughs> 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 the Rockies parking lot. And it yeah. was clean. I'm sure they cleaned it right before everyone came for the game oh, day. Yeah. You gotta plank Crystal at clear. least once a game day season. Everybody Honestly. knows that. <laughs> Are you gonna become a... What's the Dallas team? Cowboys. Cowboys you become fan. become a Cowboys fan? No, I should stick to my roots. I don't want to be fake. That's so true. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good goal. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. I don't want to be you guys. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we also learned today? That the plural of... Moose. Is meese. <laughs> <laughs> we did learn that, yeah. Yeah. Did you guys know that? And the plural of goose is just goose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's send people the fuck off. Okay. Yeah. But. <laughs> like, look at all those goose. Look at all those goose. Look at all those goose. There's a herd of meese over there. A herd of meese. <laughs> a flock of goose. There's a, fl- there's a flock of goose over there. Yeah. Did you see that group of goose over there? Group of goose? Group of goose. 
<laughs> oh, this is also Samantha and James' first time of having Popeye's chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is so true. <laughs> it was a really good sandwich. That, it was a good sandwich. I was satisfied. Yeah. I'd never had Popeye's, period. This is my first Popeye's. Yeah, same. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good mashed potatoes, good chicken sandwich. Really solid fast What did you get choice. at the Oasis? Ah, uh, Panera. They have a That's McDonald's it? there, right? I think I just get McDonald's. Or That's sometimes it? Starbucks. It depends on the time of day. Not multiple or things. Or Panda Express. <laughs> Lauren and I usually map it out. <laughs> I I'm get three things. The Belvedere has. Obviously, we only go to the Belvedere. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't think that one doesn't have the Panda Express. That one does have the Panda Express. It does Express. have. Okay, sometimes I get that. I've never had the Popeyes. What can I say? <laughs> so usually, I get. I'll get like the Popeyes, um, the Sabaro, and like the Auntie Anne's, and then she'll get like the Panera. Those are the three places I do not go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then she'll get um, the Panera. Sometimes she'll get Panda. Yeah. She'll also usually get Sabaro, but then also yeah, get Yeah, I haven't like, had Sabaro in a while. Uh-uh, right? I miss Auntie Anne's so much, too. Auntie Anne's like a pretzel You gotta log. go to the mall, yeah. Yeah, that uh -huh. shit's so good. Love that. And then there's a, it just reeks of butter popcorn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you always add on an extra, and that was the only time, I swear to God, Lauren was honestly ever going to disown Penny. <laughs> <laughs> I was coming back from Forest. Yeah. Because that's a thing. Like, any time, you always add in an extra hour for the Oasis. Yeah, you just got to make the it's stop. Fun. You have to. It, makes, it breaks the trip up, makes it worthwhile. Rejuvenated everything. Yeah, love and the Oasis. Penny didn't stop on the Oasis on the way home from Forest. From Forest of all places. <laughs> when Lauren was looking forward to it so much. I wasn't even in the car. But I can only imagine. Because yeah. when Lauren woke up. You don't take up, that away from Lauren's No. <laughs> no. A trip to the Oasis? No. Did That's, they end up going? You dare? Absolutely not. She oh. passed it and then like Lauren Sac woke up. Religious. Wow. And was like, where are we? And she goes, oh, we didn't stop. We didn't want. No one wanted to. <laughs> and Lauren... <laughs> was livid <laughs> rightfully so yeah. rightfully so too yeah i hear you yeah i love the oasis haven't been there in a, in a second i miss it me too you're you're gonna be so far away from it do you drive through the oasis when you no but i'll pick up gabby on the way and so oh yeah i might just have to make a stop there by myself yeah say goodbye yeah <laughs> <laughs> kiss the ground yeah kind of take the time that i need yeah with it absolutely decompress cry a little <laughs> and it's okay to cry it is at the Oasis. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a nice place to cry, yeah. From Madison to Texas, would you go through Illinois? Lauren like, and you I. you pass through Belvedere? Not through the Belvedere Oasis. We kind of no. go a little bit more. South. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And Lauren and I had stopped at this one nice place in Illinois on the way down there that had puff bars. And we love puff bars. That's a vape. Yeah. Uh, and we stopped and talked to that lady for probably like 30 minutes at like 2 a.m. Oh How long God. have you been vaping? Not a year yet. It started a year ago in a couple months. Really? A month. Yeah. Huh. Weren't you on Jewels when those were out? No. Never. Word. But I did promise Lawrence that I'm stopping to vape come New Year's. Are you? Yeah. I bet him like, I think, a hundred bucks. So. Wow. Cool. Good for you. How is he going to keep track? He'll be gone. <laughs> I said I'd be honest. I said I'd be honest, and I said for three months, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get that money, and maybe by then I don't even need it. Yeah, because I, I can cut, I can cut quick cold turkey pretty quick if I wanted to. So you just don't want to. Yeah, it's just so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so relaxing. It takes the edge off. You've been digging this work. one, the Mr. Fog. The Mr. Fogs, honestly, the best is the Pastel Cartel. Okay. That is a hilarious you get name. Those down, down, yeah, that's down crazy. Solid. I like your Mr. F Frog, Fog. Mr. Mr. Frog. Frog. Uh, because it has a cool lanyard. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the lanyard. That and I'd always show people down south. I'd be like, I'd go into the vape shops. I was like, you guys gonna sell these? They're like, we don't know where to get those. I, like, I do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe I should start manufacturing them and selling them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Adam moves to Texas and starts manufacturing and selling vapes. <laughs> no, 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 vape lanyards. Just the lanyards. Just oh. the lanyards. Okay, okay. Because that's where the market is. Yeah. <laughs> there are enough if, vapes if out there. Econ taught me anything. <laughs> 
fine with your niches, right? <laughs> That's so true. Samantha and I were not technically in econ together, but we both got a D in econ. Yeah. With the same professor. Yeah. My Mr. only Johnson. D. I liked him too. Loved him. Great yeah, professor. Yeah. Really solid. <laughs> yeah. But I, I sucked at solid it. Solid got a D. And I half blame my D on Winnie. <laughs> and that's just because her ass, and okay, partially for me to blame too because I should have checked, but she had told me that discussion. Oh, I know it's yeah was attendance optional attendance is points yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, she had told me that <laughs> discussion was optional, mind you, probably just for her year. Yeah, nope. So I'm the kid that shows up seven weeks in. Oh no, to yep. the seventh discussion. <laughs> oh no. Hey guys. <laughs> don't know what the fuck is going on <laughs> <laughs> so who's gonna be my partner and catch me up yeah got called on all that jazz no idea well that was the only class where I felt like I couldn't go to the discussion because I was too fucking stupid no one wanted to be my partner oh no Whew. so yeah I just didn't go so I also lost a lot of those discussion points <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why we got D's yeah for sure my only D that's and, not bad then yeah David Johnson yeah, nice Listen. guy. Yeah. Yeah. He would yell. And at 8 a.m., so he kept you awake and everything, but for some reason it just didn't stick. <laughs> it didn't stick. No, I miss college. Yeah, me too. I miss being in school. I don't miss walking around in the freezing cold, though. Yeah. I got my steps in, though. Did you guys get That's high true. before class? Um, I used to all the time, but then I'd usually end up not going to class. Yep, that makes sense. Um, no, did you? I wouldn't. I feel like I don't think, it, yeah. I don't think I could be high in class. I'm not. I think I'm the type of smoker I like to be at home. One time. It doesn't. I don't do it too much, though. Um, I was in my big chemistry lecture, and I was high as hell. <laughs> I'm sitting there cracking the fuck up. And this is when I <laughs> used Twitter. And someone had reeked of weed, and I had tweeted. I was like, haha, someone reeks of weed in my chem class. And then, like, 20 minutes later... I like feel, and I accidentally ta- had taken a bag of weed with me. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. <laughs> and you tweeted it. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I don't use Twitter though anymore. Well, seems weird. You have a woodpecker in your ceiling. Uh oh. That's our pet. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, I don't really get people who can. For me, that has to be like at home at night before bed. Some people can just do it. I can't. I don't like to be social on weed, though. I hate being social on weed. I'm so antisocial. I hate being... I don't like being in public. Don't don't talk to me. Don't look at me. That's why I always have sunglasses on. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sunglasses is always good. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like I do get a little paranoid. All the time. Yeah. I hate it. Mm-hmm. So then I just shut the fuck up. and then I don't want to talk to someone. All no. of a sudden, 30 minutes have gone by, and I'm dead silent. <laughs> And then I start panicking about how I'm not saying anything. Oof. Vicious psycho. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Should we all take bets on what we think they're doing? Hammering. Hammering. On the, you on the floor? You can't say the same thing as me. Um, I think it's a woodpecker. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said it's a woodpecker slime. <laughs> oh, I can't think of anything. It's a, t- it's a kid playing with blocks and he doesn't know what he's doing. Do people know how slime got his nickname? No. This is also goes hand in hand with him being a liability. <laughs> true. He's a little lightweight ass. Oh. Yeah. That's true. Can't help it. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's just <laughs> why he didn't make it on my um, list of... Yeah. <laughs> Your perfect party named, list? Yeah, me and Lauren's perfect party <laughs> list. I was disappointed, but I understand. The list is um, me and Lauren, obviously. Yeah. Dylan Gray. Claire. Sam. Obviously. Not you, James. Yeah. That's all right. It's hard to be a liability, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you know, sometimes it comes with with uh, sacrifices. Are they going to be able to hear that? Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's going to be fun. A little knock-knock. Who's there? Oh, tell them your joke. Uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, if you guys like moose jokes. <laughs> moose jokes? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We've already told one, so I think they're warmed Did up we? for it. <laughs> Well, you guys are talking about. I have two. The plural. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Moose goes. Moose goes who? No, you idiot. Owls go who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's another. You ready? What do you call a moose with no name? Don't say it if you know it. <laughs> a nanny moose. <laughs> um, what did 
I say. Terrible. I had a better answer. No, that was two different jokes. No, it was the... No, it was a different joke. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't save that one. Do you guys like to baby jokes? No. No. <laughs> I know you I know and Lauren do. <laughs> yeah, those are funny. Are they? Sometimes. When you're hungover and silly. I do love to be hungover and silly. That's like your favorite thing in the world. Yeah. I haven't been hungover and silly in a long time. Me neither. It was your birthday the last time I was, I think. Yeah, same. Yeah. I was not hungover and silly coming back from Dallas. I was yeah. profusely sweating and vomiting. <laughs> that every, sucks. Every 30 minutes. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you're still, you're going back still, so you still, it didn't leave a stain on, on your... Kind of hasn't felt like I'm going back. Yeah. But... Well, are you going to turn into a Republican? That's the question the fans have been wondering. How do they know I am not already a Republican? <laughs> because you did a politics episode? Crisscross. Crisscross. What if I was lying the whole time? <laughs> do the viewers want to know if I'm a liar? <laughs> We're going to make you take a lie detector test. Okay. Okay. I also need to have Slime take a lie detector test. What am I lying about? Uh, probably everything. <laughs> Is there a Rosie? <laughs> Is there? Well, Adam, are you going to miss me when you're in Dallas? Probably. You better be honest. And you have to come visit. I obviously will. Or when I go to San Diego, because Sam doesn't also think she'd like San Diego. I want to check out San Diego. I don't think I wouldn't like it. I just don't think I'd want to live in San Diego. Sam likes the cold. She likes shoveling. <laughs> I don't like shoveling. She likes shoveling and she likes walking around in slush. <laughs> she slush. loves skiing and snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> she's a she's she's a big shredder. Huge she can't winter wait till girl. To Denver. Yeah, we call her Sam the Shredder. Sam the Shredder. <laughs> I wish. No, it's not the winter that I like, although I do like having all four seasons because I do feel like it makes me appreciate the summer. Same. But do, you don't even appreciate the summer. You're right. It makes me appreciate <laughs> the spring and the fall. <laughs> <laughs> but think of San Diego always being like spring and fall weather. But 77 is not spring or fall. <laughs> but it's not like humid and it's not like... That's it's, true. You know, yeah, it's that's a, a big different. difference. Are you gonna? What did they do there? Are you gonna okay. surf? Are you gonna become a big time surfer? Oh fucking yeah! I already am. Like what did they call wave, those? I'm a wave rider. No. Isn't it shredder too? Yeah. What? Shredder? Shred, you shred waves. waves. Mm, or what are you? That's more snowboard. Um, yeah. What's the? Um, Cowabunga! Yeah. Hell fucking yeah. yeah. What's that? The surf up. Tubular. <laughs> Gnarly. Gnarly. I'm just yeah. some gnarly fucking waves. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, I can yeah. see that for you. Could you? Yeah. Have you ever surfed? Absolutely. Nice. I haven't. Neither Too have scared. I. Oh, you haven't? Hell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I would do what if I was. And then I'd be that surfer that um gets like their leg or arm chopped off and gets a documentary. Shark. Yeah. About them. That could be cool <laughs> for you. That might be nice for you, actually. I could see that. You could play me. In the documentary. Okay. <laughs> you have to cut your hair again, though. That's true. Yeah, Just a little. Just, well, yeah. Just yeah. a tiny bit. Well, I'm sure, didn't you say you wanted to grow it out? Actually, you have to grow it out to be a cool surfer. Yeah, true. So you'll have to grow it out again. Fine. <laughs> Just for you. Just to play you. Cool. Have you ever had long hair? Um, I had longish hair, but I don't think we want to talk about it. <laughs> no? Have you seen those pictures? Time. Yeah. No? Terrible time. <laughs> no one would, would like to see those pictures. That's also why I del deleted my Facebook. I got hacked and because of the old pictures. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I still have my Facebook. And I just feel like it, like I, I was creeping on somebody the other day. And I scrolled a little, like, further back in their Facebook. And you know how if it's, if you're not friends with them, you can, like, see stuff from 2009 in, like, two swipes? Yeah. And it was, no. like, it I'm was, never like. i Facebook anymore. Yeah, that's for the it's best. That's probably a good uh, idea. Um, remember when we recorded our political episode and we were getting in a lot of Facebook fights? Yeah. Did I delete my Facebook before then or after mm -hmm. that? I think it was right after that. Right after that? Yeah. yeah. So it's for the best. But yeah, and I was creeping on her and I was scrolling way back in her Facebook and all I kept seeing was like, you know, so-and-so liked I Heart Ninjas and like cute kitten pics and mm -hmm. like 90s movies, like all the right. dumb little shit. <laughs> so my Facebook got hacked a lot. Yeah. Oh, uh, were you always trying to sell like, Ray-Bans? I don't even know. I always get notifications <laughs> that like 
someone was hacking into my account or someone like was like sending like those weird link chats yeah. and stuff like that and so I, was just, I think it was because I also had like 3,000 fucking friends on that fucking thing <laughs> that like I yeah. barely knew so I was like it was just, so cool to have as many fr- yeah, Facebook so friends I as you could just deleted that shit I should probably start fresh dude I don't even want it though I guess I the only really thing I keep it for now is to keep up with my family I just use it for like messenger and groups and shit yeah I we I only use it for I don't use it for anything Facebook videos if I'm being honest. Yeah. Oh, there are some good, like... I love Facebook. Videos. I love the, like... The dodo. <laughs> the shit, shit like that, dodo. but shit like putting together, like, a cabinet. I'll watch those, like, one Yeah, I don't know ones. why you watch those. <laughs> those, I, are funny, those don't come up on my feed. Those I are, get, like, the mildly satisfying like, for me. Cooking animal ones, videos animals. exclusively. Um... What else do I get? I like like fail videos. The funniest <laughs> ones are like I'll sit and watch like a twenty four minute videos of like traffic fails of like dumb drivers that like yeah. get into car crashes and like take like a right when they're not supposed to. Mm, like those that. don't sound that fun to me. <laughs> no, like, no we used to watch compilations of that shit. I oh, like yeah. fail videos, but for us it was like just like videos of people busting their ass. Oh yeah. yeah. So funny. And mine are sometimes... kids like slamming their yeah. head on the trampoline. Love that. Yeah. Fallen, flipping. I don't know why we thought that shit was so funny. So stupid. <laughs> you like physical, like slapstick humor like that, I feel like. Mm-hmm. At least in real life, like if people slip. I think it's so funny if somebody trips. <laughs> that is the funniest goddamn thing. Um, I remember I used to watch people outside of Wando's upstairs. And it was like super icy and slippery. Just slip and eat ass. When people yeah, slip in here. the winter, it is literally so funny. <laughs> so funny. That's why I'm moving. Yeah, to avoid the ice. So that you won't have anything to laugh at anymore. All your joy will be gone. No, I would always slip. I was the person. There was a time after a fucking physics exam where I knew I fucking failed the physics exam. And I was leaving at like 9 p.m. It was cold and it just snowed. And I kid you not, I had walked down the fucking ladder upstairs. Mm -hmm. And I'm walking on university. And the next thing I know, I'm staring (laughs) up at the fucking stars <laughs> and i had slipped and fallen on my back that's always the way my comp- and like my first thought was is my head okay not that that was did i crack my computer yeah, uh, for classic. Sure, for sure, yep. <laughs> and then the second one was who the fuck saw me <laughs> <laughs> luckily no one did and i just hopped my ass up and i just kept kept it chucking <laughs> I even think it's funny when I fall, as long as I don't get too injured. Oh, you know? I don't. Yeah. But I, I think a part of that is also laughing so that you don't look embarrassed. So. Things <laughs> hurt so much more in the winter, too. It's just like yeah, how cold your bones it is on your skin. are so shit. brittle. Yeah. If you guys could see my apartment right now, it's so sad. Oh. What do you have, like, two chairs? Yep. You have to be bed. out tomorrow morning? No. no. Tuesday? Tuesday morning, technically, but okay, I'm going gonna, to be out by tomorrow night. Unless you have a day to do it, yeah. The day yeah. this episode comes out. Check in on Adam, you guys. Yeah. See if he if he listened to the episode before noon. Make sure he's out of his apartment. <laughs> Did you guys know that this is also <laughs> the podcast finale, the series finale? Are you? Oh right, <laughs> <laughs> it's never coming back. I forgot. This was a good send off episode. I feel like you, you. Do you feel like you were supposed to be the finale? I do. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's only right. It's kind of like I feel like this season. This was your season. It still is my season. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. Can you believe that it's 2022 already in like a month? Yeah, no. no. I really, I really can't. can't. Oh, wow. Drinks. Yo, be soda. <laughs> Disgusting. Who owes whom a soda? I think we're tied. We mm. each take a sip <laughs> of each other's. I'll sip my Popeye's soda. We love Popeyes. Thanks for introducing us to Popeyes. I introduced my grandma also to Popeyes. Did you? Yeah, Popeyes chicken exciting. sandwich. Wow. Because she was always like, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A. I was like, no, Popeyes chicken sandwich. You're like a brand ambassador. Why don't sponsor me at Popeyes? <laughs> <laughs> this episode is sponsored by a Popeyes chicken sandwich. We'll have to do another podcast. We'll have to bring out, haul out this stuff to San Diego. It's easy. It's legal. To do a podcast? Yeah, do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you guys can stay with me and we'll bring out this stuff and we'll we'll do an edible, we'll do a bong rip, we'll do a dab, <laughs> we'll smoke a joint. Okay. A blunt. I'll die. Hit shot shots curtain. Hit shots out. Okay, that's something else that we need to put on before I leave. 
Hit Sha Chat Scream. Yeah. It's a fun, fun game. If you want to spice up your yeah, drinking life. Yeah, if you want to feel a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> James, do you yes. know what Hit Sha Chat Scream is? Did you play with us? Yeah, I did it once at one of your apartments. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hit of weed, Hit of shot weed. of alcohol, shot of coffee. Or and or espresso. Ice cream. Yep. Right. And then, a, yeah, a spoonful of ice cream. Spoonful I'll do a spoonful cream. of ice cream after anything. Hit Sha Chat Scream. Actually, when we hang up this podcast, we should probably have some ice cream. It's so true. So good because you take the hit of weed, so you're already feeling a little loopy. Then you take (laughs) the shot of alcohol and the shot of espresso, which best chaser, and then the ice cream cools it all down. Yeah, my God. And then you're like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. really takes you for a journey. You did seven of those in a row. What? (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of like ride the bus. We used to play ride the bus in high school. Yep. So easy to get so fucked up because. (laughs) We oh we were playing here and you guys played weird where it was like everyone thought I was so weird when I was like oh haha you have to take four shots because you know it's shots and people were like yeah I know it's drinks yeah like sips yeah and I was <laughs> like whoa <laughs> it's not shots but then you last a little longer <sighs> yeah in high school well you last you just black out quicker true and yeah at some point you'd be like oh yeah ha 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 yeah that's all getting up on someone you just had to take eight shots and we'd be yeah. down yep and we'd do it yep Jesus. yep i couldn't do that now me so heavyweights <laughs> were you ever Unlike heavyweight you, james, james. <laughs> oh, never, was. never was in high school even i could rally but one time he got kicked out of the w for eating a fry oh yeah that was bogus he i thought he was being sneaky Samantha had to take him home. That was liability. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be a liability. A couple yeah. times he's puked. I'm sorry, guys. It's all right. <laughs> it's fun. We love you anyways. Is that true? It is fun. Keeps okay. it interesting. Yeah, it really does. Like that game day where we just walked home. I don't know why we walked home in the rain. Me either. We could have easily got an Uber. <laughs> That's the origin of slime. Right? That was the origin of slime. Where we walked home in the rain. From James Camp fell Randall. asleep. Yeah. Did you? He was Almost. Like I was like on that tree while we were waiting for the Uber. <laughs> oh, yeah. We made it about two blocks and then we got an Uber for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Another two blocks. We literally got it to Witty. <laughs> we walked from fucking Camp Randall to Witty. Yeah, and then and we then got, got, got the Uber, Uber for, to Aberdeen, which is literally two blocks up. <laughs> that is so true. I feel like it just started pouring rain. We were soaking wet already. Yeah. <laughs> So what was the point? Well, okay. So Adam and I, obviously, if you've probably seen us in our matching track suits, if you haven't, <sighs> you're lost. We didn't. And we're, okay, this was the other part. We were supposed to game day. Ew, did you? Because <laughs> I, I, it's a game day. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to game day on my birthday in oh, yeah. the track suits, and then they got COVID. Uh, well, now we have to get another color track suit. Something non-Badger themed. We were thinking navy blue. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like that. Mm-hmm. And then you that. look a little more serious. A little more serious, a little more yeah. classy, but also the black one just to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good, yeah. Classy. Okay, so maybe get a few. Yeah, for every occasion. Yeah. We could get Rose's uh, hot or orange Yeah, one. Hunter Orange. Oh, shit. A stunning, a really gorgeous color. We could go hunting. No, thanks. I do want to do the hunting thing with the shooting gore. I know I said that. What's that? It's like in Texas, because... Um, wild boar invasive species that you can go and like just go in a helicopter and just fucking shoot them from Whoa. helicopters in Texas. That's literally insane. <laughs> fucking insane with how fun. <laughs> I don't think I would have fun. Oh man, that's intense. Just because they're an invasive species, I would. Do you know people who have done that? No, but I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Adam's preparing. Yeah, mentally. Also in the Florida Become Everglades, you can um hunt and kill Burmese pythons because they're invasive species and make money from it. Oh shit. How do you make money from it? You go and like take them into like the county or something and they like... Pay you? Yeah. Like the state does. Damn. Because they like ruin shit. Burmese so. mountain dogs? Burmese pythons. Burmese pythons. Not yeah. mountain <laughs> dogs. We're not killing mountain dogs. We're killing snakes. <laughs> we could go kill snakes if you wanted. I would maybe be more into that, but I also... I don't know <laughs> if I'd be any good at it. I really don't see that as my calling. Mm, you never know until you try. That's true. We need to find a new hobby. We really do. And more friends. Yeah, well now, Adam, I have none. And I'm going to miss you. And so will all the fans. Well, I'm glad we got to do this final episode together. And I'm glad we got to try Popeye's chicken sandwich. And this was the first time a guest had a guest. That is so true. exciting stuff. Thanks for having me, Adam. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It was my pleasure. Don't worry about it. Thank goodness. 
Hey, Beatrix. Yeah, that's our cat. She you wasn't feeling it. So, anyways, Adam, I'm going to miss you, and we're going to have to do, every time you come home, we have to get you back on the pod, I think. That has to be the, because the fans love you. That could be fun for us. Yeah. Talk about life updates. Yeah. If I found myself yet. You might, when you get that. Once Maybe you get I'll that cowboy passion, hat. Honestly. That just might be the key. Should I leave my cowboy hat here with you? Yeah. The one that I have? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little yeah. taste of, yeah. Little, you guys know that one. That mm-hmm. was the, that was on the. It was one of my podcast promos we can use it for this one too that was a great photo maybe quite possibly your best yeah we'll do the one where i'm it's me and you and we're laying on the ground and planking that is good (laughs) but yeah i'm gonna miss you buddy i miss you guys i hope that you have fun i'm excited to visit you i'm excited for you guys both to visit hell yeah not the cats oh yeah i guess james can come too oh thanks that's nice yeah not the cats well everyone uh if you're going to miss adam you gotta let him know yeah just shoot him a text. Make sure he's moved out of his apartment by Tuesday at noon. <laughs> if not, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble. Living in Fitchburg forever. Fuck that. So that's a bummer. That's Adam's American name. Monona. Fitchburg. <laughs> <laughs> Middle name Monona. But anyways, thank you guys for listening to our season finale episode and our send-off episode for Adam, who is leaving us to become a cowboy slash surfer. Oh yeah. That's nice for you. That's it's kind really of a nice. hybrid. Yeah. So we're gonna miss him a lot. But yeah, we love you so much, buddy. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Another cathartic convo in the books. I feel better. How about you? Thank you so much for listening. Now I just want to jump on here and say, don't forget to follow and or subscribe to the pod on your favorite streaming platform for new episodes every single week because I know you can't get enough of me. Additionally, if you want to gain access to exclusive episodes and behind the scenes bloopers and lots of other goodies, join our Patreon and support the pod with your heart hard-earned American dollars. You can find the link in our show notes, or you can also visit us at patreon.com slash pessimistic at best. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at pessimistic at best. And if you're as obsessed with me as I am with you, you can find me at Sam Georgeson on all platforms. And last but not least, I'd like to give a special shout out to my podcast editor and producer, the love of my life. James Arbae, whom I literally could not do this without. So thank you, James. I love you so much. And thank you guys for joining me again this week. I love you too. And I cannot wait to chat with you again soon.